Welcome to a conversation with Stefan Keitel, Chief Investment Officer of Credit Suisse's Private Banking and Multi-Asset Class Solutions Group within Asset Management. Mr. Keitel, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure. What's your outlook for 2010? Are we out of the woods yet? I think we are clearly in a, in a normalization path. You can see it when you look at the money market. You can see it when you look at the credit market. You can see it when you look at the capital market in general. There's a visible relief. And as I said, normalization pass. And from a macroeconomic point of view, we see a strong reacceleration, and not only in the emerging markets, where it took place much earlier, now it's also in the traditional regions, especially in the US. And I think that kind of relief, in combination with that macroeconomic picture I just described, lead to the fact that I think that uh, a positive situation at the, the capital market in general and in the equity market specifically is not over yet. Are investors still stockpiling cash, or have they started putting their money to work again? Uh, <laughs> it's a very good question. Uh, I think uh, there's still much uh, cash on the sideline, because uh, in '09, I think more or less the whole financial industry missed the rally. And uh, again, in '010, I think people had been extremely reluctant in investing into risk-averse assets uh, in general or in the equity market specifically. But when I talk to, to clients, as well on the private client on the institutional side, I think they are, they are still they have still much cash on the sideline, but they now step by step start to come back into the capital markets. And this is one of the arguments we have that I think the, un the ongoing strength in the equity market specifically uh, is not over yet. And we expect further strengths over the upcoming weeks and perhaps even months. The commodity price cycle appears to be heading upwards. What's your view? Uh, yeah, we think that uh, in general, uh, the real assets uh, should outperform the nominal assets. This is a message we want to give also from a strategic point of view. And when we talk about real assets, we not only talk about equity markets, we also talk about the commodity markets. That means we are, we are still quite bullish on the commodity markets, and this has also, of course, to do with the improvement and the, on the macroeconomic uh, situation, and by that we would use consolidation phases in the commodity on the commodity side uh, as a buying opportunity. That means we are as well from a tactical standpoint as from a strategic standpoint positive on commodities in general. And how will the exit strategies of central banks affect the economy? Uh, that's, a, yeah, that's, a, that's a good question. Of course, uh, yeah, it will affect the, uh, the economy. And this is, I think, one of the factors why we have still question marks on the macroeconomic uh, expectation we have for 2011. Because now it will be crucial. I think for 2010, we are in a pretty good stance. And the surprises will rather be on the upside. Because we have that, still that huge stimulus in place uh, from the governments, huge stimulus in place from the central banks, then the basis effect, of course, a normalization pass I already described. But I think uh, to have it more sustainable, I think it's crucial that there will be also a sustainable improvement from the consumer side. That means only when the consumer side will improve over the next 12 months, I think the central banks and the governments can afford to change their policy. Then only then the central bank can, for example, start to change the monetary policy. And this is clearly depending on the consumer cycle, and by that we still have a question mark for 011. Uh, and this, of course, uh, then will also influence uh, the policy of the central banks. We will not expect that they will hike rates too early. They will rather hike rates later on. And especially for the US, but the same is true for the Eurozone central banks, we think that it will be earliest in Q4 when they will try to change the monetary policy. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.